Hey, hi, hello. I'm Wasabi, and today we're talking about music, AI, Timbaland, and Biggie Smalls. Now, that last name might, you know, peak your ears. You might got a little perked up now, like, whoa, 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 what, what does Biggie Smalls have to do with this topic? And, you know, depending on how invested you are with music and just the artist himself and the creativity that goes behind music, you might find what I'm about to show you be pretty fucked up. You're probably going to be wondering what is wrong with Timbaland. Why is he doing this? But the true answer falls down to two things, ego and money. All right, so I'm sitting here with my brother, Creative God, and we know that it's a lot of talk about AI. And we know how the feelings of violating certain things, but let me tell you something. I got a solution. I got a solution. I'm working on it. It's going to be beneficial to everybody but in the meantime you know i gotta share something i've been working on because i always want to do this and i never got a chance to i always wanted to work with big and i never got a chance to until today it came out right play so yeah what you just heard isn't like some leak biggie smalls vocals from the past something that he originally recorded back when he was still alive it's none of that it's ai vocals as you heard timberland say at the beginning of his video Pretty much, he said, hey, I know that y'all y'all really got issues with this and, you know, it might be kind of fucked up, but personally for me, I don't care because I want this. I need this and I'm going to lead the charts. I wanted to work with Biggie Smalls and now I got the opportunity to do it when in reality, you didn't. You didn't work with Biggie Smalls. I hate, I hate this notion. This really, it pisses me off and it really upsets me because it, you're delusional. That's, that's literally what you are. You are delusional. You didn't work with the actual version of Biggie Smalls. You are working with someone who thinks this is what Biggie Smalls would do. You are working with created fake vocals of Biggie Smalls with the AI filter. Of course, the actual person who did the rapping, that's still the real voice, but you put the AI filter over it. But still, that is not legitimately Biggie Smalls. It, it just, like, a lot of the things that people like about these fucking artists is the artists themselves. And when they are not here no more, and they're gone, then you don't have that artist no more. It is not authentic. It is fake. It is just something you made up in your mind. It's like a dream coming into reality, but it's still a dream overall because it's not actually real. It is just something that you fabricated. It's so irritating to see this and just, and then the audacity to say, oh, I never got to work with Biggie Smalls, but now I finally got to do it. No, you work with a fucking robot. You work with an impersonation, a replica. That is all it is, but it's not the real deal. It, this is it's so insane to see this. Now, you might wonder why am I so passionate about this? And it's because I cherish the creativity and artistry of people themselves who make this stuff. And the thing is, I like to try and spread more awareness and to try and inform people why this is actually not a good thing and why it's bad. There are so many people or so many AI bros who want to be like, oh my God, you're just fucking hating, bro. No, I don't think AI voices is that bad if used in a responsible manner and doesn't infringe on other artists' likeness, uh, their voice, their personality, etc and use for nefarious purposes that is cool if you want to sit there and make some parody and you put ai all over it and shit like that you don't monetize off it cool have fun that is great but th this is not cool this is not great biggie is dead there is no evidence to show that he would want to work with timbaland today that he would say these lyrics on a song that he would want to make uh music with these type of beats none of that this is just you uh, coming up with these ideas in your head and saying yeah definitely biggie's gonna like this uh you know what? if he was alive today this is exactly what he would be doing no no and so this was the post timbaland made with the video he said this right here uh, ai is timbo everything original timbo x biggie the man's super proud of it and i mean I, I honestly if i was in this position i would be ashamed 
And, you know, at least people are still calling this out. Like, no disrespect, but this is not it. I really don't know how to feel about this as a huge big fan. This is hard as fuck. But I keep asking myself, if I was big, would I want people making uh, their own version of me? And then another person says, nah, this ain't it. It's not big either. So what is there to be excited about, really? We got enough bull destroying hip hop in the culture. Music's being called hip hop when it's not. Hip hop should be getting preserved. It should be organic from the heart and soul. I'm not with this AI. We got enough fake-ish out here. I want nothing artificial when it comes to hip hop. I'm sure Tim wouldn't like it if someone took his voice, put it on a track and released it. The double standard will be real, all this AI stuff. And I agree with that. That That's 100% true. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it comes down to Timberland having a huge ego and just seeing money signs. It's like, uh, I want to cash in on this trend. And if you think to yourself right now, oh, no, that's not really what it is. No, no, no. There is an article that came out today. He addressed all of it. He said that he had his own solution to uh, re resolve the AI issues in the music industry. Let's see what he had to say. So right off the rip, we already have a spicy title. Timbaland hatches AI startup that will get music stars like Biggie Life After Death, which in its own right, sorry, fucked up reading that. Because ultimately, it's not up to you to decide if artists who have already passed away, uh, should their vocals be AI replicated and then use that to make new songs, uh, especially for people who are loved ones. How would they feel, right? Let's say an artist recently passed away. You know, the family's still trying to grieve. And then you got people that are going to start making AI songs with it. Which, if you think that's not going to happen, you're an absolute fool. It will happen. A day after they pass, you'll probably got some fucked up individuals who will sit there and start doing AI replicated songs. And they'll probably do some sick fucked up song or a title or whatever the case might be. Think about all the people who did the... Uh, remember J Station, the 3 a.m. challenge? Oh my God, uh, this person just passed away and I'm talking to him through a, a Ouija board. Oh my God. You know, we already got people who do fucked up shit like that. Just imagine now with the AI voices and shit like that. It's going to be insane. But the point is trying to spin this as if it's some big win for the music industry as a whole. And oh yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna bring all these dead artists back to life and we're going to keep their legacy going on strong. No, no. How many times I got to say this? Continuing on, Timbaland says, it's going to be a new way of creating and a new way of generating money with less cost. So again, as you can already tell, this is pretty much a money play. How much money can I make out of this? Oh, we're probably going to be saving a fuckload of money doing this. Why not do this? Timbaland said he believes AI voice filters, which allow an artist to assume the voice of another artist, will open up an unprecedented world of creativity in music. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I, I'm sorry to keep stopping the article. But as someone who's a music artist and someone who cares about this industry and keeps an eye on it, you know, pretty closely, your creativity can only go so far. I guess you could say for a uh, shit post and maybe parodies or just out of curiosity to see what an artist's voice might sound like on uh, someone else's beat that wasn't originally on there. Sure, you could say that. But in terms of creativity, I feel like people keep missing the mark. Now, I, I use this very loosely. I'm, what I'm about to say is very loose here because Drake is an exception to this. I don't think anyone really gives a fuck about Drake as an artist, but more they care about his voice because a lot of people did not really give a shit that Drake got his shit uh, AI emulated. They were like, oh man, this shit's fire. This shit's hard. Man, I wish Drake was making shit like this. And the reality is people are just saying, hey, I like Drake's voice. I like when he's on hard beats saying tough lyrics. But they don't really give a fuck if it was Drake or not. Point in case with the Timberland X Biggie shit, people are like, hey, what the fuck? Because Biggie is a very well-respected artist. And so when you start just taking AI vocals and then you start doing uh, imitations, essentially, people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't, what do you think you're doing? That's Like, you're pretty much taking a piss on his grave when you do something like that. Because there's no way, there, the only way you can respect a dead artist like that is by just not doing anything. Just respect the music that they made at their time and keep it moving. That's it. And so leading on with that, because a lot of people like the artists for who they are and their personality, and I mean, the voice is obviously a part of it as well too. It's the whole package. This is why it, there, there's no creativity to have when people start using these AI voices and they start replicating somebody else. At the end of the day, you will still be reminded that, oh wait, this artist didn't actually make this song. So well fuck they're never going to perform the song they're never going to mention the song they're not going to probably ever talk about it there, nothing's ever going to happen with it and the thing is a lot of people are so ingrained with the ai's vocals and hearing different artists on different things but at the end of the day those artists never made the song they were never on it they're, like i said they're never going to acknowledge it what creativity is there to have when people only care about those ai songs right now because of the fame that the artists have built up throughout their time in the music industry and releasing hits after hits 
If it was some fucking no name, nobody, no one's going to give a shit. It, it, it doesn't matter. I said this in the past, but if someone made the Heart on the Sleeve song, the AI Drake and Weekend song, but then you removed the Drake vocals and the Weekend vocals and you just put anybody else, guarantee no one would have given a shit about that song at all. No one's going to be like, oh my God, this shit's crazy. This shit's hard. But because you hear Drake's vocals and you hear the Weekend's vocals over it, they're like, oh damn, all right, hey, yo, this shit kind of slaps. This shit kind of hard. But that's where it ends. Continuing on, he said, up and coming artists with a good cadence or flow, but not a good voice could use filters to achieve more success, AKA just using someone else's likeness, uh, image to try and get attention to yourself. Again, people come for the artist for the artist themselves. If your voice is trash, and no one and you have to use someone else's voice that's already established and likable and known then you are not standing out you are literally just an imitator and uh, a copycat people might enjoy you for being able to have a good cadence or flow but when people like the artist for the artist which means your voice uh, your appearance your personality etc cetera, etc cetera, if the one thing about you which is your main selling point for your music is your voice and it's not actually yours it's not authentic then there is a problem no one's going to really like you for that maybe this age is like milk and in the future everyone's going to have imitated voices of each other and none of and nothing's ever going to be authentic or real but i i don't i don't really see this happening with this to add on top of it if they're using a voice that's already an ai filter then who's to say that there isn't already a bunch of other artists doing the same thing once the voice sounds the same the only thing that can change is the cadence and the flow and i'm sorry that's not really going to be enough to really draw attention to you as uh, uh what makes you different what makes you stand out as it is already in the music industry and just music in general there's millions and millions and millions of people who make music and release it every day that will never get heard if you're trying to stand out and all your voices is just an ai replication of someone else's you're not really doing much for yourself to stand out as someone that uh, you are unique or you're your own artist. Instead, people just see, oh, you're the guy that can uh, mimic Drake's voice uh, with his cadence and flow. And, and th that's cool. But that's where it would end. And I mean, personally, as an artist, I wouldn't want that. Established artists will be able to share AI replicas of their voices with each other to test collaborations and save time. And a producer could get exclusive rights to use the voice of a music legend who's no longer with us, he said. And fans will eagerly wait for the project to drop. Again, you're going to have so many uphill battles fighting that. You know how many motherfuckers make songs with Juice World already? You know how many people are doing that? Yeah, good luck trying to make a song with that. You know how many people are already doing Biggie's uh, AI shit? A lot of them, same for Tupac, same for everybody. It's all exists. So how are you going to capitalize off that? Unless you're copyright striking every single thing out there and then it turns into a music industry only profits off this and then all the people who do it for fun or just want to make songs uh, get fucked over big time. So it doesn't really change anything other than the top, top people in the music industry getting all the money while all the rest of the people get fucked. On the other token, any self-respecting artist probably will never let their voice be used for uh, AI shit at all. They probably know where to draw the line and they understand that who they are is who they are. And they don't necessarily like the idea of people taking their voice and trying to make songs and everything else, despite how many people are going to say, well, I'm just a fan. I just, I just really care about the artists. And if you really cared about the artists, then you would respect their wishes to not use their voice and to make your own headcanon versions of songs that you think they would make. But that's just my opinion. I know that everyone has their own opinion on the internet, so this is just mine. Don't <laughs> don't get too upset. And so Timbaland continues on by saying, but the quality of most AI voices have been amateurish. Uh, it's not being done in a way that would make artists and record labels feel proud to be involved. He said he believes that industry and consumers need to see high-grade voice filters, human involvement, and a verification system that shows that AI voices were authorized. I don't want to be afraid of what's going on. I want to be the guy who figures out a solution. And you know what? I, I can commend that. You know, you find a solution where this doesn't step on the toes. Uh, they figure out the ethics because that's one of the biggest things he said. He wants to try and get that nailed down, figure out the ethics between it. Hey, go right ahead. I, I'm, I'm all for it because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like AI is going to go back in the bottle. It's not going to go away. I would also like to add that uh, the royalties and the money that's to be made off this, I, you know, there's going to be very few people who actually really make money off this. If you've been part of the music industry or you know anything about it, then you know that the pay is pennies. It's cheap. It is literally like nothing. You do not get a lot of money from my Spotify, from my Facebook music or whatever my music's posted at. The money that I get from that, the royalties that I get paid every time a song gets played, 
You do not make any real money unless you are stacking up high as plays. You are not making a lot of money. And even then it's not that much. A lot of the money that artists make is typically from when they do tours, they sell merch. The money that they get from streams is almost nothing. It's, it's not even really worth considering at this point. So, I, you know, the whole idea that all oh, this is going to create a lot of new revenue streams or income is pretty much as someone else already said, it's going to take the small amount of money that artists already make. It's just going to make it even smaller because now it's another fraction of a couple pennies that has to go to somebody else. Now, I do think it's great that Timbaland wants to work with artists, try and get verification for when things come out. I do think all of that is great and hopefully something good does come out of that. Again, I don't really know how many artists would be okay with it. We already saw Drake's against it, so we already know he isn't going to do it, at least until he sees enough money and then he becomes a hypocrite and then he's all for it. But besides that, I again, I, I think it's a great idea in theory, but in practice, I don't really know how many artists are actually going to be on board. And then even once the artists are on board, was this going to be like de nouveau for PC gaming, but now for music. So whenever they detect that an artist's voice is used on a song that it was never actually on, then it's going to get copyright struck or there's going to be royalties extracted from it. So if someone has actually like a legitimately the same voice as that artist, then what they're going to start claiming uh, th their videos because their voice is so similar. And like it just so many things and so many variables that... I just have a hard time believing that Timbaland is really going to find the actual solution to this problem. But I also think that you making a song with Biggie or saying that you finally collaborate with Biggie is not exactly a great first impression of your company, your business, and trying to say that you're going to solve the ethics problems with AI or that you want to be one of the first ones there to really capitalize on this and get something solidified really going. I guess you didn't make a good first impression. Instead, you just put a sour taste in everybody's mouth because of doing something like that. Now, I'm not here to be some Debbie Downer and try and shit on AI every single opportunity I get. I think AI for what it is could be very useful and could actually have great benefits for a lot of artists, but that's only when it's used correctly. I don't think that AI voices in its current state and how it's used is not really good. I think there needs to be regulations. I don't think it needs to be banished. I don't think it needs to go to the shadow realm, but I do think there needs to be regulations put in place sooner rather than later, because if you keep Pandora's box unopened without any form of rules, or at least trying to implement some rules, then it's really going to get out of hand the longer it goes without being touched. No matter how much Timbaland Mice thinks that his little uh, startup company is going to be the one be all that solves everything for the problems with AI in the music industry or the problems that are going to occur with it. It's not going to happen. You're just one man in the industry. And no matter how many connections you might have, again, you are still only one man. You cannot control the entire internet and you cannot control just the music industry as a whole other than just being able to copyright strike things down. So yeah, you should probably be pushing for regulations and things around that nature to try and push for ethics and things that actually make logical sense when it comes to using that technology. Anyways, I ranted on long enough. I just wanted to talk about this because I saw this come across my feed today. And it's just so disappointing seeing something like this and then seeing someone as well respected as uh, Timbaland try and just double down on this and just say, you know what, fuck everything else. Who cares? It just seems very wrong. It just seems very fucked up. And I would think of all people, someone like him would understand sort of the implications and consequences of going down this path and trying to make it work. I get the idea of trying to be, you know, close to something that's becoming popular or technology that everyone's trying to get their hands on. But I don't think that this is the right way to go about it either, at least with, again, his first presentations with saying that he made a song with Biggie. And of course, it's obviously not Biggie. And then just saying, you know what? Why not? Who cares? Because I wanted to make a song with him. So yeah, not a good first impression. Um, yeah, AI voices right now, interesting stuff. Who knows what's going to happen uh, half a year from now. Maybe his shit pops off, maybe it won't. So we'll see as time goes on. Anyway, see you later. Have a great day. Go play some games. Go outside. Um, I'm about to play some games. And yeah.